So this is hazel, Corylus avellana, and it's a woody shrub rather than a tree. So in the UK you'll see it usually as a multi-stemmed, coppice-grown shrub multiple stems all growing from base level which we can harvest on a cyclical pattern maybe every nine to twelve years depending where we are in the UK um, and it's got a real value in UK uh, biodiversity terms because it has a range of different species associated with it particularly uh, associated with the coppice cycle that we normally grow hazel with so if you think about key protected species like dormice uh, think about some of the invertebrate species like the fritillaries, the high value butterflies, they're often associated with hazel coppice and hazel coppice systems. Um, not truly native, uh, but been around a very, very long time, so it's very much naturalised and people think of it as a, as a key part of the UK sort of treescape and landscape now. As I've said already, grow it as a coppice crop. How are we going to identify it? Well, uh, often um, the easiest ways to look at it, look at this year's growth, look at the current growth. This here, I've got about a metre of growth here from the start point where it started at the beginning of the season. Um, long, thin, flexible wands, a lot of the uses that hazel used to be put to relied on this ability for hazel to be almost tied in knots. Very, very flexible, very thin. Um, in terms of leaf arrangement, alternate leaves. And one of the key ID characteristics at this time of year when the leaves are still in um, full form is, is actually texture. If you feel the leaves, um, they're actually quite soft and that's because they've got lots of tiny tiny hairs on the back of the leaf and if you look at the stem that attaches the leaf onto the stalk you can see a much bigger set of hairs and you can feel them if you rub your finger over them there so a f almost a furry hairy feel to the leaf um, hairy stems and the other thing with hazel not very scientific but it works if you just very lightly run your finger over the, the bark it comes away almost like paper and as you go further down this year's growth gets a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier and if you just rub your fingernail over it like this you get this bark layer coming off like paper to reveal a really bright green um, colour underneath that's the top of the cambium effectively the growing part of the bark and it's got this beautiful almost tree frog green sort of colour there which you can see very distinctive uh, with hazel.